Why don't we close the door first? Alright. Hi, everybody. Um, okay, so, should I see my name? <laughs> sure. Okay, I'm... Izzy, what's your truth about equality? Equality doesn't actually exist in the United States of America. That's it. My truth on equality is that it doesn't exist. All right, I think equality is never going to happen, ever, because people are that dumb. I find my honest opinion about equality is that there isn't really any. Like, today, there's so many, like, police brutality, black-on-black -black crime. Um, like, I don't know. I find the Black Lives Matter, like, movement, like, really good, but... I don't really see it anymore, so, yeah. So my truth about equality is that there really isn't equality among people. Um, it would be fantastic if there were, but the reality is that there isn't. And I think that's where the conversation should begin. I think that's where people can start to talk about it with that truth, like it isn't there. So like as a white person, I think that white people might believe that there is equality because they've experienced so much privilege in American society. Um, so I really, like I hope that more and more white people start to address this and really, um, and really see where they have so much privilege and then speak openly about it and not be afraid to um, talk about it with with black people, with people of brown skin, in in any conversation that might come. Like the hallway is going crazy with kids talking about it, and I think that's really, really the future. I think that's where things should go. Thanks. Hey, I guess I'm sitting here supposing to talk about truth and equality and uh, not really knowing what to say. When I think about equality though, uh, I generally go back to the Declaration of Independence in our Constitution. And the key words of that are we the people. And what people don't realize is when the framers uh, wrote the Constitution, the Declaration of Independence, when they said we the people, they weren't inclusive. They meant it to be everybody. And while uh, it was historically interpreted literally to mean only white men. The framers and the writers looked at it differently and as a result they wrote a, a document that could be examined and evaluated and interpreted and the true interpretation and the way it's starting to be interpreted now is we the people means everybody not solely white men is what the interpreters actually meant 300 years ago. Uh, this country is, was meant to be inclusive was meant to be inclusive of all different races, all different genders, all diff of, of all different nationalities. And we are getting it to a point in history in which it seems as though people are starting to pay that, at that some attention. Unfortunately, uh, recent events in history have reminded us that we are still, dis people are still discriminated against and true equality has still not been seen through the eyes of the law. Um, so, truth about equality, um, I was reading this thing and it, it really opened me up. It asked the question, what does it mean to be equal in a land of thieves? And particularly like talking about the, um, the way America was built by stealing land from uh, American Indian tribes and the stolen labor and lives of black people and coming into this country. and. If we're searching for equality in this land underneath those same sort of rules, then at some point we're saying that we're okay with how we got to where we are. And um, I guess my truth is, I don't know if I want to be equal in that in that part of the world, right? And that and that way of thinking about it, I want I want to be something else. And thinking about what that something else is is you know, 
the work, right? Something I think about on a daily basis. So, thank you. The truth about equality is there are a lot of dumb people out there who uh, who use racial slurs and um, and they discriminate against people. Uh, because of their skin color, or because of their culture, or because of their religion. And whatever the reason may be, that's just wrong. I mean, the only thing that you're getting out of that is knowing that, or feeling that you're better than them. And you're really not, you know? You're, you're actually just being a bad person. All humans should be equal, because what makes us human isn't the color of our skin, but what's in here. And if we can't appreciate that, then are we being human? Okay, so my truth about equality is that it's hard to find because they're really, no one really treats anybody 100% equally. There's always like flaws in everything. And it's sad to see everybody get discriminated and get hurt for who they are and who they want to be. So I got to say there really is no equality and I'm still trying to find it and hopefully I will. That's my truth. I think that in terms of equality, in the United States we have come very far and we still have very far to go. I think that equality is great, but some places equality has not been achieved yet in the whole world. I don't think it's been achieved yet because some people are like targeted and like it like laughed at and teased just because they're a certain religion or do a certain thing or worship this or worship that. And I think that equality has nearly been achieved in this world, but we're still a little, a little tiny bit not equal. Um, I think it's interesting that like Muslims and black people and like foreign people from around the world are being targeted and like, I don't know, like targeted and like, oh my god, they're so bad. But meanwhile, there are like all these like, a lot of, not all of them, but a lot of white people like going into schools and killing children and nobody really says anything about that. So. Mm -hmm. And I think there's a lot of white people who have white privilege because every white person has white privilege and there's people who deny their white privilege, which is, I don't think you can be a white person in this world now and say you don't have white privilege because... Like, there's people who say they they don't have good jobs, they don't have, like, a lot of money, so they don't have white privilege, but really just the ability to, like, go into a store and not be, like, judged by the color of your skin is having privilege, I guess. My truth is that I'm not really sure what I am. Um, I know that um, on the census, I suppose, I cross off the box that says Asian American, but truthfully, um, it changes depending on the company I'm in. Uh, when I'm around um, other people of color, specifically black people, I feel like I feel more of my privilege as an Asian American, and I feel like I can't really be a part of the group. And then when I'm around people that are white, I frequently feel like I'm not really sure that I would identify myself as white. So truthfully, I don't know who I am. And it's my hope that in my children's generation, they don't face the same sort of struggles that I face. And the truth is, is that I don't face the same struggles that my father faced, and my father didn't face the same struggles that his father and his grandparents faced. So as time goes on, uh, my hope is that my children and my children's friends help to build this country into what it was meant to be, uh, and that we as people can become the best people we can be. The truth about equality to me is the world.